We are in rebuild mode, so stay tuned so you can see the progress that we've made. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Crystal and here on my channel, I am taking you along on my journey as I renovate my 1950s bungalow. In this video, I wanna give you an update on the renovations that have taken place so far in the main living area. And that includes the kitchen, the dining room, and the living room. If you are new here, please make sure that you check out all of the previous videos to kind of get an update and get caught up from whence we've come. So let's see what has been done. So first up, the low bearing wall and the electrical. So when we last left off, Adam and his crew were waiting on approval from the city to actually take the low bearing wall out. The city approved and the wall came a tumbling down and in went the new support beam. Then the electricians came in. After reviewing what needed to be done, they went right to work. They also installed the new pot lights um, in the dining room, and then I had them add four more in the living room just to make sure that we had enough light there. Before the walls could be closed, the inspector had to come back out and approve the rough electrical. So we passed the electrical and now it was time to close everything up. But there was one more order of business before those walls got closed up and that was insulation. So believe it or not, there was no insulation on the exterior walls of the house. Um, and Adam said that's not uncommon for a house this, uh, you know, this age or as old as my house. So he fixed that and he added insulation to the wall. So hopefully um, this will answer the issue of draftiness that we often have in the winter time. So with the inside of the walls complete and um, HVAC coming and repositioning a couple of uh, heating and cooling ducts, we were ready to close things up. Now we're ready for drywall. <laughs> So while all this was going on, I tended to some of the shopping that I needed to do. Remember, I said that I needed to get like backsplash tiles, some flooring, um, things like that. So first up was the flooring. To get flooring, I went to Good. I think I'm pronouncing that right, Good Flooring um, of America. They had endless selections of flooring in their showroom. I decided to go with uh, a vinyl plank flooring that mimicked or looked like the wood that I already had. Again, to try to give that seamless appearance going through um, all of the floors. The nice thing about the vinyl flooring is it's going to be probably more durable than hardwood would be. One big thing is it's waterproof and hardwood is not. So I'm looking forward to that extra durability in the kitchen. Good had an entire section of their showroom dedicated to vinyl plank flooring. So I had more than enough options to choose from. Luckily for me, I did find, um, I found one that um, was almost identical to the floor I have in terms of color, texture, everything. Also bought um, my faucet. So I got a Kraus commercial style faucet with the spring thingamabob that sprays all over the place. So I got that and I'm actually just waiting on that to be delivered. But I'll put a link in the description below so you can see which one I got and maybe it's something that you're interested in too. I also got the backsplash tile and I went with a glass subway tile and I think it complements the countertops pretty nicely. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So as you can see, things have really been busy around here. Be sure to check out the links in the description below and make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. It really helps this channel out when you do. Next week, 
the cabinets are coming they are due here on tuesday so monday they're going to finish up the drywall get everything smoothed out tuesday's tuesday the cabinets get delivered so those should be going in and it's really going to start taking shape y'all so on that note i want to thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye